Let's see if Nene's ready to put the TV together. Nene, are you ready to put the TV together? Yeah, can I finish playing my game first? What, what have you got there? Let's see. <laughs> I actually got this new uh, gaming controller for your phone. Very nice. And then I found out that Stardew Valley's on your phone, so I've been playing it. Epic. So we still have a few things to get ready for the office. That should be happening sometime next week. But in the meantime, we thought we would bring you a video of putting our new TV together, or installing it rather. This is this is Rhaegar. This is Rhaegar. He was born with one eye, and I got him at the Humane Society. But he's a big, big furball, so he's gonna help us build the TV today. Yes. So here is the TV. It's an 85-inch TV, and believe it or not, this is the second 85-inch TV that I'll have unboxed in the last six months. We had one from LG. Uh, this one is a Samsung model. So we've got to put it up on the wall today. We've also got like a kind of like a surround sound system. It's got a sound bar and a sub and like two satellite speakers. Yeah, we picked this up from Best Buy. So this is the Q850A. So yeah, that's everything you get in the box. And this is the Samsung Neo QLED QN85A. So this is actually brand new for 2021 and they basically use some mini LEDs. So I would say it's like 80% as good as an OLED. We'll wait and see. But first we need to show you guys our new entertainment center. Lots of you have been asking about this and where we got it. Now the cool thing about this entertainment center, it is a fireplace, a heater, and a cooler all in one. And then the best part, it has RGB. It's RGB guys, check it out. It comes with magical stones. Yeah. These stones allow you to have anything you want in your life. It's basically the infinity stones from your life. <laughs> ah, yes, two men yeah, in their natural good. habitat. Mm -hmm. Trying to fix something without the directions. Directions are more like suggestions. What did you say? Directions are more like suggestions. <laughs> Three, two, one. one. <laughs> I switched it up. <laughs> First impressions, pretty strong. Yeah. <laughs> We're trying to, you know, make Josh look like of it's uh, the perfect scene. <laughs> oh look, I found the instructions. The most important part. <laughs> yeah. Is this going to be long enough for our TV? <laughs> yeah, so it comes with two remotes. This is the one for the actual fireplace, so let's go ahead and turn this baby on. <laughs> Damn it, it's not switched on. Check it out, real, real fire. So you can actually change the color of this. It's got like a heater built in as well. Let's try and change the color. Yeah, so we can have it on blue. Wow. Obviously a classic fire color. It's so We've got purple as well. So warm. And then we have these shelf lights, which came with it. But if we turn these on, you can see here, they kind of shine through the glass. So at night, when all the lights are off, it just creates this really cool glow. So very impressed with this thing. Yeah, but I like the, the red one the best. I think it looks cool. Josh likes the blue light. All right, guys, now back to the TV. We're gonna unbox it, and we're also gonna unbox our sound bar for you, and then we'll do a time lapse of us doing that, as well as a time lapse of putting it up on the wall. That's gonna be fun, because this is a 95-pound TV. 98 pounds. Oh, 98. Yeah. Even Hopefully more. it doesn't fall off of the wall, you know? <laughs> All right, so we managed to successfully unbox the TV. I always hate unboxing these TVs because it feels like you're gonna snap the screen in half when you're trying to like tilt it down onto the ground, but I think it's good. So what we need to do now is install the wall mount for this. The pieces for it are over here. And we also need to mount the wall mount on the wall too, and then we'll be able to hang it. So let's do it. So Nene is just attaching the brackets to the back of the TV. All right, so we just broke out the laser level. We are just putting the holes into the wall for the actual bracket. So you can see here we've got a straight line that runs all the way from this side of the wall to the other side. And the wall mount we got, we'll link it in the description along with everything else, but it comes with like this little template. So you can put it up on the wall to kind of mark the holes and make sure you got everything in the right place before you drill them in. We've also put the bracket on the TV. So this thing is removable. We just put it on here to measure it. So we're gonna attach this thing to the wall and then we should be able to put the TV on it and hopefully it will be at the right height. So for hanging the TV, we had to get a stud finder because the TV weighs 98 pounds. You don't want to just put that in drywall or that's going to fall out and it's expensive TV. So we want to make sure that we can find the studs. And in this apartment, we have metal studs. So the stud finder, all you do is you put it on the wall, press this button and it tells you and it beeps when it finds the stud, which is right, right here. And we've already marked it. 
Also, you guys have probably seen me use this before, but this is a laser level, again, linked in the description, but it really helps with putting stuff up because as you can see, there is a laser mark on the wall. I don't know if you can actually see that, but it's pretty handy. Alright, so we just finished drilling the holes in the wall. We managed to get them into the metal studs. So this thing is going to be super secure. We've got to put this thing on here, and then we can hang the TV. You posting a picture to Instagram? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so the bolts that we're going to be using are called toggle bolts. These things can hold up to 265 pounds, and we're going to use four of them. So basically, when you want to use these, all you do is you feed them in like that. And then you turn it this way, and then in order to tighten it, you just push it in like that, and you break these off. That's it. So what Nene is doing right now is attaching this drill bit. So what we're going to be doing is dropping the cables through the wall, because obviously in normal circumstances, you'd have cables running from the TV underneath the TV unit, but we don't want any cables. So we're going to be putting a hole in the wall, which is going to be behind the TV. So cables will drop through here and then we're going to put another one beneath the fireplace or actually behind it and then we can hide the cables. By the way guys, if you're wondering why these holes are not dead center on the wall, it's because we obviously needed to put the uh, bracket into the studs and the studs are only in certain places, but the TV mount right here has quite a lot of slide on it so you can slide it to the left or to the right so it's going to be fine all right so i feel like nene is doing most of this but she is putting the wall mount on right now we've got the screws that came with the anchors uh, we also have our hole down here which is where we're going to drop the cables so we should be nearly ready to go all right so the mount is now successfully installed on the wall this thing isn't going anywhere so it's time to hang the tv Okay, the TV is up on the wall. It looks absolutely massive. Nene is going to peel off the the, the peely part. It's going to be <laughs> epic. <laughs> oh, look how clean that screen looks. Whoa, that looks so cool. Two hours later. Now we're going to show you the TV in just a few minutes. We'll get some games running on it and uh, boot up some movies. But first of all, we need to sort out the sound system. Now I forgot to film the unboxing, so sorry about that, but I will run through what's included with it. So it's a 5.1 surround system from Samsung. It's got a sound bar, so that's kind of like your center left and right channel. You've got a sub right here, which is this big boy, and you've got two satellite speakers. Now the main reason we went for this particular system is purely for convenience because it is a wireless system or it's kind of wireless let me explain so the soundbar obviously connects to the tv that connects via an hdmi cable and this tv actually has e-arc as well which is awesome now the sub right here all this needs is power and then it wirelessly connects to the soundbar and the same thing with these two so these connect to this little central unit right here and then this central unit connects itself to the soundbar so like i said it's kind of wireless but it's just a lot more convenient than a traditional 5.1 one system because you're not having to run cables all the way from like the other side of the room to your amp. Now in terms of speaker placement the sub is going to be going beside the couch. Now ideally that should probably go in the front there but I think we're going to be putting some IKEA Besta units here so that will go beside the couch for now. And similarly with these two satellite speakers this is going to be a temporary measure because we're not sure if we're keeping this couch so we don't really want to wall mount the speakers and then have to like move them again. So I think for now, we'll probably just shove them on the sides of the couch. I know it's not ideal, but at some point, we shall fix it. All right, so there we go, all done. So like I said, just a temporary measure at the moment. We've got the sub down by the side of the couch. We've got one of the surround speakers right here and the other one is over on this side. Should be good to go. Are you ready to do some gaming? Yeah. 
Awesome, let's do it. We've set up Nene's Alienware PC that she got sent a while ago. This thing is rocking a 10th gen i9. It's also got a NVIDIA 3000 series. It's a 3090, which is pretty crazy. And this should be powerful enough to support the full specs of this TV because it actually has HDMI 2.1 support, which basically means it can do 4K 120 hertz. So if you've got one of the new consoles or a PC with a 3000 series card, then in theory, you can do 4K 120 hertz. Now, by the way, guys, this little cable you see right here is not going to be here normally. I just wanted to hook it up so we could play some games. So without further ado, let's do some gaming. the biggest TV that I've ever had yep. in my life. So lots of movie nights and lots of game nights are going to be happening in this living room. Yeah, I have to say though guys, I'm super impressed with this TV. I said earlier that it was like 80% as good as an OLED because when I walked into the store, I actually thought it was an OLED when I first saw it, because the black levels were just so good, which is not very common with LED TVs, but I mean, you guys can see right here, it looks pretty damn good. And I think that is mostly owing to these new mini LEDs that Samsung are using in these 2021 Neo QLED TVs. And yeah, the end result is great. Obviously you've got extra brightness as well with it being an LED TV as opposed to an OLED, which is great in rooms like this because there is a lot of daylight in the, the day so you can actually see what you're watching. Make sure you guys come back for part two because part two is going to be our RGB lighting setup for the living room. We're gonna try and do like a gaming console kind of like setup, see how that goes. Yeah, we need to actually pick up some of the new consoles when we can actually get hold of them. And of course, we're gonna be adding RGB to the TV as well. So yeah, make sure you get yourself subscribed, guys. Drop a like rating if you enjoyed, it helps us out massively. If you want to follow us on social media, you can do at Tech Tesseract for me and, and at Brit Nene 3 Yeah, but until the next time, guys, thank you again for watching and we'll catch you all in the next one.